Hey, I'm Garrett Young. In this video, we'll set up single number reach using Cisco's Unified Personal Communicator and Microsoft's Office Communicator. What's single number reach? Single number reach enables a caller to dial one number, reaching you on any of your devices, even your mobile phone, making it easier for customers and coworkers to reach you when you're out of the office. We'll start with Cisco's Unified Personal Communicator. Unfortunately, we can't do this directly in Cisco Unified Personal Communicator. Instead, we need to open a browser and navigate to Cisco Unified Communication Manager user options. Now we log in using our Cisco Unified Personal Communicator credentials. Now, under user options, we select mobility settings and then select remote destinations. A remote destination refers to any other phone that you want to make and receive calls from using your office phone number. Now let's start filling out the form. The name field shouldn't be a problem for the majority of your users. I'll enter my mobile phone number since I want both my mobile phone and desk phone to ring. Also, for the timers like answer too soon timer, make sure you enter the time in milliseconds. A few users might accidentally make a mistake here, especially if they think milli means millions. However, things will still work even though the ring time might be a little too long or short. Uh, if users do run into problems, call to the help desk and usually quickly resolve these problems. We now select the appropriate remote destination profile and decide whether we want to check off mobile phone and mobile phone connect. You now have the option of controlling the hours when your mobile phone rings, enabling you to disable your mobile phone ringing in the middle of the night and on weekends. For most users, these hours will be exactly the same as their working hours in Outlook. Unfortunately, there's no option to import these hours, so let's re-enter them here. Note the hours are entered using a 24-hour clock. Next, select your time zone. Uh, this defaults to the Greenwich Standard Time. The next section is just for restricting who can call your mobile phone, so let's just use the defaults here. Finally, we save this configuration. At this point, Communication Manager validates the data. Well, it looks like we have an error with the format of the phone number. The remote destination must be a phone number or a URI. Since there is no online help, we'll need to visit the administration guide or make a call to the help desk. Let's double check to see what the administration guide manual says. It turns out that the number must be in E164 format, so let's fix it and move on. Next, we associate our mail phone number with this remote destination profile by checking the box. We then should hit save again. Looks like we're finished here. And that's it. We've configured single number reach using Cisco Unified Personal Communicator. Now let's look at the same approach using Microsoft's Office Communicator. First, we navigate to the call forwarding settings screen in Office Communicator. The call summary shows how your phone forwarding settings are currently configured. To make a change, first make sure that the Ring Me option is selected and not one of the more powerful options uh, for also ringing an attendant or an other team member. Now choose the phone number we want to ring in addition to your desk phone. For many enterprises, the mobile phone number will be downloaded from Active Directory. If not, simply add another phone number and type it in. Office Communicator will leverage your local dialing rules to make sure that your country code and area codes are entered correctly. Next, we can configure what happens to calls that are not answered in a timely manner. In this case, let's have the calls forwarded to voicemail after 10 seconds. And let's choose to have our mobile phone to ring only during the work hours that you have configured in Outlook. As you see, there is a tight integration with Office Communicator and Outlook, enabling you to manage your working hours in one place. Now select OK, and we're finished. Single number reach is configured. We've seen two approaches for configuring single number reach one from Cisco, the other from Microsoft. We'll let you decide how best to reduce calls to the support desk. Thanks for watching.